Welcome, Welcome to, to Benny and Beyond, Beyond at Dubs at the, the Castle. Castle. This week you join us at our first ever Van Life Festival and it's a corker with live music, plenty of entertainment, stalls and of course lots of vans. We have made it to Dubs at the Castle 2024. Look! Brilliant! We are so excited to be here. We bought our tickets quite a while ago and we planned to come with family anyway, but we ended up reaching out to Dubs at the Castle and organising a partnership between us and them. It is the perfect fit for us for our first opportunity. We are Welsh, it is a Welsh festival, and obviously, if you didn't already know, <laughs> Benny is a Volkswagen T4, so it is just the Big stars fan of the aligned. Dubs. Yeah, exactly. So we're so excited to be here. We've just set up. We'll have to show you what our little setup looks like. We've got like a little communal area, it's brilliant. There's three vans in total. Yeah. We've got a camera with them, some family, and it's the first thing, first kind of festival like this we've ever done. So we're yeah. extremely excited. Definitely. And we're here for the full weekend. Yes. So we're going to explore. Yeah, let's have a little mooch about. As we arrived at the festival a little later than planned, we spent the first evening getting a lay of the land and a feel for the vibe. So already on the first night, the vibe here is amazing. They got live music, everybody's having a jolly time. It's brilliant already. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I feel like it's <laughs> the vibe is just gonna go up and up over the weekend. And there's other fields with more music and other stalls. Exactly, I can't wait. Morning, day two at Dubs at the Castle. It's proper day one, really. Yes, I guess, technically. Uh, sorry if you can hear sort of like kids running around and stuff. It is a family friendly event. So, yeah, today's objective what are we doing? Well, last night we arrived at. Oh, I think it was like seven o'clock. It was it quite must late. About seven. Yeah. So, we, after setting up, we didn't have too much time, so we explored the kind of main pitch which we were very close to. Yeah. Which they have live entertainment, some stalls, some uh, some food. So we had a little explore of that. The vibe was brilliant there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was much it was more really than I was good. expecting. Yeah, it was really and good. everyone like when we came back, I think the music stopped at half past eleven, but about yeah. eleven o'clock you could hear they were all singing Take Me Home Country Roads and stuff. So hopefully tonight, maybe we'll stay out a little bit later, because we're child free, and um, we'll see if they got some more live, live music tonight yeah but yeah so we want to explore down the other side today, there's i think because we were talking to dave he won the event yesterday and i think you've seen there's like three pitches yeah two or three so we're gonna have a further mooch yeah. well, i know plan. that just just behind us a few minutes walk there's the traders pitch which i'm yeah. very excited for i love seeing the kind of stalls they do here oh i love it so yeah we um we also had some drinks last night yeah. We um we had Long Island iced teas. Um, and they were big. Yeah, 
They were very tasty as well. They were good. They were really good. Yeah, we had a lovely evening last night, so I'm very excited for today to explore and then this evening, hopefully, to see the live music and everything. Really looking forward to it. So, yeah. So they were different from last night. Right, breakfast, bacon baps, sorting us out this morning. A little shop like that in a trailer is amazing. I know, That's this the, is so cool. It's the cutest. There's a lot of stools here, a lot more than I was bargaining for. Yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, uh -oh. what were we excited about? Denim jackets. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Have they got other trippy stuff down there? Everyone's very excited. There's a lot to yes, see. There's let's, loads to see. Let's have a look. Loads of cool traders. So we just found our bakery. I think it was called Pogo Bakery and we'll put it on screen. And this is Bombay potato pasty. So we're gonna see what it tastes like. Try something a little bit different. Mm. Oh, the pastry's delicious. Fantastic. Is there something all different? Mm. Oh, you're, you're passing it over now? No, I'm showing. Oh. That pastry oh, is so now. flaky. No, go back. Come on. Reese's auntie is getting some Turkish street food. Sounds amazing. They do vegan. Yeah, they do vegan food as well. This is the Turkish food, so it's absolutely delicious. Grilled chicken, rice and salad. And then this is Kim's, she went for a vegan option. And let me tell you, it smells incredible. Try the vegan one. That's incredible. How are you enjoying Dubs at the Castle then so far? I tell you what, it's brilliant. It's our first, first like weekend festival and it's absolutely brilliant. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's live music going on pretty much all day, especially in the main pitch. We went to the second pitch today and lots of stalls there. Uh, we picked up a few, what did we pick up? Caps, something that we wouldn't find anywhere else. Dash blanks. Dash blanks. We have a few gaps in our dash, so we wouldn't find that anywhere else, but somewhere like this. Um, and I'm gonna crack on with a little bit of work, but Fionn, it's going into the castle itself because we saw that there's a few bits in there as well. So, I mean, we've been here now for a full day and a half and we still haven't explored everything. So, lots to do. Are you excited for this evening? Yes, very. Dave, who runs the event, has hooked us up with a Mexican vendor and we've said hello, we talked to them yesterday, took a few shots. Lovely, lovely people and they've been kind enough that they're gonna hook us up with some food to try today which is great because Mexican's our favorite cuisine anyway so it's worked out a treat and um, I'll try some of the other vendors about they have the churros which you quite like um, it's more like music more events more drinks always something going on here
while the dubs are well and truly in the castle here. How cool is this? Loads of really sick vintage ones. Like, look at this. Absolutely love it. Let's have a little look around. I couldn't let Rhys miss out on seeing these brilliant bands, so he ended up joining us. We are now in the castle. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be anything in here, but there's a whole... Array of T3s mostly. Yeah, and T25s and stuff in here. So we're going to have a little mooch about and see what cool creations people have made. I love seeing stuff like this. A lot of like uh, projects, a lot of themes going on. Yeah, it's really sick to see what kind of... When people have free reign over a vehicle, like what they do with it, it's really cool. love that colour. It's like the T4 Frisian green. It looks like it's been painted Ooh, today. Doesn't it? Look at those steelies with the BF good rushes on them. Looks fresh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Love it. sure the plan is now we are sort of just having a little mitch about we've just left the castle i love that i thought that was so cool and we are i think gonna head to the main area where we were last night again and perhaps see if we can grab some dinner What's oh, the i don't know but i am i it's am quarter to five. that's that's dinner for me <laughs> that's good enough yeah we're having a brilliant time it's oh. fantastic i mean everyone's like our people yes and uh, it's just it's so chill here as well isn't it? it it is very chill everyone's really nice everyone's like oh get in my van have a look yeah everyone's it's, like oh you're interested it's the one look. time you should get in someone stranger's van yes yeah it's so fun to see what everybody does with their vans i'm quite a nosy van lifer oh, so yeah. i like to see what everyone else does it's brilliant <laughs> i mean is that not heaven I trust that this is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so to get across from one side of the event to the other, it's only a, maybe a 10 minute walk, but yeah. it takes us about 45 minutes. <laughs> we can't stop looking at stalls, we can't stop looking at people's vans, it's off. Oh, I'm loving life, this is brilliant. It's brilliant, I don't know, we should do this more often. Right. Good secured. <laughs> you guys know how much we love Mexican food. We are always trying to replicate Mexican in the van. It's probably our fa most favorite cuisine, I would probably. say. Probably, so they could read our minds. Yeah. A huge thank you to the girls at Dahlia Casina, Dahlia Cucina. It'll be on screen. Yeah, not 100% how to say it. Of all the socials and everything yes. down here. A huge thank you to the girls. Not only were they bloody lovely and really funny, they made us a burrito each. So we said, what do you recommend? What is good? And they said, best thing to get is a burrito. And we have one pulled pork and one spicy beef brisket. So we're gonna do half and half, mix it up. Yes. I can tell you this is Reese's heaven. He loves I, Mexican. I love it. And we saw him make us requested quesadillas as well when oh. we were there. And so I think we might, be, we might be visiting, visiting them again. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow. I hope they take card. Um, that's another thing to note, is that a lot of vendors here take card. Little, small, like, traders, they got, like, little sum-up card machines. Yeah. So we haven't brought any cash. We will go and take about 10, 20 quid out to get us some little bits, but the From, majority... From, like, the little traders that's selling, like, the... Like the, um, the little bits. Like, yeah. you don't want to, like, ask them to pay card for t two pounds worth of stuff. So yeah, a lot of traders do take card. However, I'd bring some like petty cash, some pocket money yeah. when you come. Yeah, so. Let's try some. Let's eat. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. 
Oh my god. That's unbelievable. No word of a lie. That's probably the best burrito I've ever eaten. I'm, I'll trust I'm not surprised. Swap. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Wow. Okay. We'll be going back. Get your asses here <laughs> to have these. Oh my god. I think they're based in Bristol as well. So if you're in Bristol. Mm. Unbelievable. So we are at Doves at the Castle in July, but in September, if you are interested in coming to another Doves at the Castle event, they have one in September, it's towards the end of the month. I'll leave a link in the description below to the ticket website. Only get your tickets through Doves at the Castle because they're the only reputable seller. And it's gonna be another fun-filled, family-friendly weekend in the Gower. So if you're in Wales or if you're near Wales, it's worth coming. And if you haven't had the chance to come and see us at this event, maybe you'd like to come and see us when we're at Webley Castle in September. Right, the rain has sadly arrived in full force now, but we're not gonna let it stop us having a good time. So we got coats. Yeah, we've got umbrellas and we are gonna go for a mooch and see if we can get some drinks. We are planning on stick bombing one of the back panels inside the van. So of course we made it to the sticker store and sneak peek of one of our options. Okay, so we've bought some stickers. The guy here had a four for ten pound offer and they're massive. So we've got the mystery machine. I love Scooby-Doo. <laughs> we got time for tacos. We cook loads of Mexican food. We have Van life, and we have the mountains are calling. Good collection, I think. Right, good start. Music's on, rain has stopped, sky is getting blue. Look at that. Not Told bad. you, wouldn't stop us having a good time. <laughs> right, we got archery going on. See how this goes. Going. Not meant to be. One more and I would have had it. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's a little song I wrote. I hope you're gonna learn me not fun of the Don't worry. Dubs at the Castle 2024 was space, hence the NASA themed merch and everyone dressing up. It was so fun to see people put an effort into fancy dress and having a great time on Saturday night embracing the theme. Okay, so this morning we've um, kind of woken up and gone straight to the, the show and shine. Um, really little event that they've got, and they've got it dotted all over the fields. Um, so we're in the water cooled T4 section, then we've got next to us the T5s. In the main castle, I think there's more vintage, and in the main event pitch, there's like T2, split screens, T1s, that kind of thing. Um, but we were a bit worried about it this morning because uh, not many people are turning up. But now we've got a decent turnout. It's about, I think there's 894s, about 10 T5s. That's just on this pitch. And the other one's even more popular. So we're taking this as a time just a bit of shameless self promotion. Because why not? While we're here, you know, getting that foot traffic. But we were worried that we were going to be a bit of a sore thumb. But there's a few other T4s here that are, some that are proper rat luck on show vans, others that are a little bit closer to stock, and then ours which is a little different. I think we're the only one that's lived in full time, so I think people are appreciating that and have uh, come over for a little bit of inspiration for their own bills hopefully. So I'll show you what 
exactly the vans I turned up now. Doing really well. Got some nachos. Couldn't wait to eat it. Forgot to show it, so I just started munching. Whoops. And um, Fionn's absolutely in the element. Talking about the van, she's loving it. Got quite a few people coming up. We're the only ones here living in the van full time, so it's something a bit different. And people are absolutely baffled by it. It's brilliant. Loving it. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. We were a little bit nervous this morning when we turned up at the show and shine, but it's actually turned out really good. We've had a lot of people who are really interested in the van or they love the colour and then they find out that we obviously live in the van full time and they are so surprised. Yeah. Yeah. And we're having a little bit of a lull right now. I think everybody's gone for lunch. So we've got ourselves our nachos and we we just it's lovely to meet people who are enthusiastic about vehicles like ours and people who appreciate that even though ours isn't polished and isn't you know like this top-notch conversion they're like it's got character it's so cool it's real. yeah it's real and it's a it's achievable i think is the main thing it's nice to see that at these sort of things so yeah i'm really happy i was a little bit nervous this morning but i feel really good now Fionn, stay by the van because she's uh actually love talking about it uh, it's quieting down a bit now. Sun's come out and it's quieting down because there's only about an hour left of the show. Um, the uh, show and shine. It's been going on all, all since this morning. So uh, I'm, before it ends, there's more in the castle. So I'm going to have a look and see what else is there. Small golfs in the castle today. And so uh, I think my favourite pitch is the main pitch at the moment with all the bay windows and the, uh, and the split screens. My, I don't know if I said it before, my, my dream car, my dream vehicle is a bay window VW. I just think that's so cute. I think they're perfect. One day, one day. Right, so we are packing up the van now. Uh, it's nearly three o'clock and the thing ends at three. We've had, honestly, at the beginning I was so nervous, but we've had a brilliant day showing off the van, talking to fellow dub enthusiasts, and it's been so fun to be able to share the love for our van with other people, and people have really appreciated the effort that we've gone to to like build B and where we've been with her and what she's done for us. So it's been brilliant. We're gonna pack up now and then I think we're gonna hit the road. We've gotta get back to Cardiff today. So I think that's the plan. But yeah, brilliant day. a wrap on dubs at the castle 2024 honestly we've had a brilliant weekend haven't we it's first festival yeah first event like this of any kind and well it just shows that we've got to do more yeah definitely we will be at webley castle for dubs at the castle the second event of the year in september if you're thinking about coming definitely do we've had a lovely weekend so nice to be able to connect with other people who have a shared passion for VWs yeah. and vans in general like everyone especially travel and camping like everyone is so friendly it's very family orientated it's just community orientated so definitely get your tickets we'll leave the link in the description to their website 
and make sure you follow them on instagram as well and that you attend either this one next year or the one in september thank you so much for watching the video i know it's slightly different to what we usually do yeah but we're so grateful for the, uh, the partnership with dubs of the castle and it pushed us out of our comfort zone a little bit so we'll definitely yeah. be attending more we've had a brilliant time so make sure you subscribe like comment leave us your feedback and we'll see you in the next video